I didn't know anything about it, um, it's a, a massive honour, I don't do it for any self gratification or anything, I've just been doing it for basically when, when we moved to Timpley, uh, got involved when my lad was five, uh, he's 18 now so it's been like forever, just try to change things, I've played football all my life, I love it, I'd like to put something back in. The, the amount of work he puts in is phenomenal and all the kids look up to him, you know, it's, it's just brilliant. and offer everything in our community for you know, cheap football, good quality football, um, friendly football, safe football for the kids there. Without Darren, I mean Darren's the life and soul of the club, without people like Darren the club wouldn't exist. So proud of him. Uh, I mean, he's a star, Greg. You know, he's really uh, committed to what he does. He's an asset to the club. You know, the kids love him, the parents love him. Uh, he just turned up every week and just made it fun for everyone. Well, he's helped the children come on. Great, he was around from like under fives. He's obviously played for West Kirby Wasps as well for a long time when he was younger and come back through the ranks. He's a little father than that. And when I very first came with my son, uh, he was taking training sessions with them from when he was six years of age. Uh, and it was good. I enjoyed it. That's what made me stay on and keep my son coming. Yeah. We came down for the first year and he, um, Daniel was nervous at first, but Greg's enthusiasm and, uh, and organisation and, and just all, all round fun. Uh, made, made sure that Daniel and, and everyone else loved, the, loved uh, taking part. Absolutely amazed. We're absolutely, we can't believe we've won it. Um, we didn't know anything at all about it until the award came through or the notification of the award came through. So we're so pleased and we've spread it around all the parents of the club. We've just been telling everybody how pleased we are. Just absolutely incredible to receive an award like this for a club that's only been in existence for such a short period. I think every one of us on the committee are proud. I personally. Um, I'm absolutely ecstatic about it because of the, the work that's gone in um, but without the work of the welfare officer with what he does on behalf of the Charter Standard as well without the work of the club secretary and all the people behind the scenes um, we, it would never happen um, Coaches, volunteers, everyone who has anything to do with the club, fantastic. Girls love it, um, everyone's treated equally, and that's the main thing. The girls couldn't be more happier since moving into this club, from the old club, and that's priceless in my eyes.
pavilion miles, uh, we started with just like a handful of children, size five balls, a couple of dads who wanted to get, <laughs> have a little kick around with the lads and realise then how serious the whole process is. And you know, went from sort of strength to strength, getting coaches, coach, uh, trained, and then going through the charter standard process. <laughs> It's fantastic for us to receive this award and we're very proud and we thank everybody at the FA for, for presenting this. Um, but we're passionate about football, we're passionate about helping and uh, hopefully this will help the next generation. It's fantastic because we sort of get on with it and you know we, we know we do a good job and we try to do a good job but to get some recognition is, is fantastic so everybody's really, really proud. Team and the coaches are excellent. I think, we've, uh, I think we do the right thing for the children. I think everything we do is, is, is based around the children themselves. Uh, encouraging them to play correct football, observe whatever laws of the game are in place, whether it's 5v5, 7v7, 9v9. It's a friendly, organised, um, uh, competition if you like and um, it, it's superb for the kids they, they enjoy it all the time as you can see um, looking around you they're all having a great time and uh, with no pressure on them at all to develop kids but above all fun based atmosphere for football and that's the league does a great job with that.